Hey everybody, I'm illustrator John McCoy, based in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm counting this as my 59th daily drawing slash painting exercise. I just completed the oil painting that I started um, over a week ago, and this one has had multiple sessions. Hey guys, I'm illustrator John McCoy. Thanks for watching. This is my 59th daily painting exercise. There were definitely some issues um, in the beginning with glare, um, but that's something that can happen with any painting. Um, it was just the way the easel was set up and there was a window behind me. Um, so it's, it's really important to make sure that the lighting situation is good. Um, it actually forced me to discover some new things about photography, uh, including the polarizing filters that you can get for cameras and towards the end of the video, I'm actually using a polarizing filter on my GoPro Hero 4 Silver. Um, and that does cut down some of the glare as I'm filming the painting process in time-lapse. Uh, so you notice that uh, oils behave differently, and this is mainly because of the drying time of oils. Some of you may have noticed my mom's foot in the video in the, in the bottom right corner. Um, she chooses to not have her paint, painting on camera um, <laughs> but she was, she was alongside me painting the same still life and we've, we've learned oils together in this process, which I think was, a um, was a really fun activity. We listened to some classical music and, um, went to town on these oil paints. Uh, and, and really, um, we, we, sh we had like a bench between us and we had pa our palettes set up together and we kind of just shared brushes and paints. So, um, but who could have asked for a better partner to work with? It, it, I, I wasn't working with the, with people that were um, spilling out tons of pain or stealing my brushes. It's a very good person to work with. It's kind of nice to work with um, multiple sessions in a painting, um, stopping, walking away from your work over the course of days even because it allows you to see things with fresh eyes, and um, this one, I discovered that along with learning oil paints. And it was another way that like allowed me to have some consistency as I was getting into this relatively new media for me. Um, to have a consistent subject matter that I'm working on did help me to gain some traction and I think learn faster or get back into oils faster and then learn new things more quickly. Um, this one overall, combining um, all of the real-time uh, painting process was six hours, um, which is about which is about double uh, the the painting of the shoes and the coffee that I did a while back. But that was digital. Um, but the I guess the results are similar. But I think it it being traditional paint and oil paints, I'm I'm really happy with those results. And I think with more practice. I'm just only going to get better and better as I continue to practice. Another interesting thing you'll notice is that over the course of a still life using fruit over several days, the fruit slowly was ripening. We, we started with green bananas and ended up fully perfectly ripe bananas. And if you stay till the end of the video, you, you can see me eat one of those bananas, um, which they were great. They were great. I mean, that was like the, the, they were perfectly ripe. It was the perfect timing. And right when I finished the painting, the GoPro shut off. It had run out of battery. So God gives signs that the time is ripe. Wow. I just said that without even thinking. <laughs> Notice I, I, we changed positions and that was because of the glare from the windows. Um, it was kind of annoying, but we ended up repositioning everything. It had a really nice setup later on where windows were not behind us directly facing our paintings, which helped quite a bit. Um, in addition to that, though, as part of that process, I was wrestling with a different background. And eventually I attached cardboard behind the still life so that I could have a consistent backdrop behind the painting to work from because before that, that you could see the windows and the doors behind the still life. And with the daylight changing, I was creating a night scene and a day scene and a night scene and back and forth. And, and with oil paints, um, especially oil paints with how wet they are, you couldn't change the colors very quickly. You had to wait for them to dry and try to, either that or you'd be wrestling in a bunch of, um, a bunch of pigment in there and wasting paint to try to change those colors and to mess with them 
to pay, if you try to boss them around, basically, you're going to be spending a lot of paint in order to do so. So I know we got a lot of time to talk because it's such a, such a long video due to the nature of it being several sessions long. Um, but it was really a, a fun process to, to paint this, um, this still life of these fruits. I think toward the end, um, it became apparent to me how all of my experience with acrylic paint actually pays off and, and, and definitely bleeds through into this because so many of the things I was trying to use with the, um, the um, what is it called, uh, Galkid, yeah, the Galkid medium, um, we, we, we have light and we also have um, just the medium, which is um, thicker, it's more syrupy. Um, but one of the things I learned is that I'm, I use um, a glazing medium with acrylic and I'm generally trying to do the same thing with the paint either way. It's just that there's that, that longer drying time and, and the blending abilities of oils are beautiful. And I, I suspected that would be the case, but um, definitely am delighted to work with this new media. And I can see myself doing a lot more oil painting because, well, number one, I have the paints, so I should probably use them. Um, but number two, they're such a joy to work with. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will say um, this video was posted a day later just due to the fact that I have a new nephew. So we went to the hospital and celebrated with them on the birth of the new baby. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this painting process. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe to the channel, share this with family and friends, and God bless. Good. Finish this paint just in the nick of time. <laughs>